It's been more than 30 minutes and we are still walking. Delta is losing his shit. It's too far, man. And it's been some 40 45 minutes. We are still walking. Arda is you know much? Half an hour. Arda is not half an hour, you dick. <laughs> One and a half. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Ask him a gun to teach me later. I'm not going anymore on top, bro. Fuck no. What's it saying, D? I don't know bro, I can't understand. <laughs> I, I, really, know I really can't understand. I've got fucking things with me. I'm not going up this trail, man. Let me carry it Why why does he do understand? Why is he being so stubborn? Why does he understand? You sir, half an hour, half an hour back. Stop it man, I think we need to head back. I'm telling you, see I don't have a problem going Nathan, like that. Nitin, it's not a debate competition, man. We have to go back. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to climb it. One day we'll come here and we'll only do trek, okay? Today. <laughs> what day is today, my friend? Bro, I want to reach the summit. See from up down. I don't want to waste so, so much time going up. Then? Come, come, come here. Oh, he's not getting it, man. I don't have a problem with the view, bro. Standing at the edge right now. Was it your plan? <laughs> oh, is it what do you see? As it twists the time. I don't think it's even fucking safe, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, but that's what trades are all about. Let's go, bro. Come on, D. Don't be weak now. This is the fucking time. Okay. 848, 850. Take the time into consideration. It took us 56 minutes now in counting to reach that here. And it'll take us another one hour to reach up there. Yeah, so man. by the time we reach there, it's 10 30, 10 45. How much time will we spend there? Half an hour. Then yeah. we'll spend another two hours. What's the back? Okay, we're going to take a water. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be I'm with D. We're heading back. Here we go. I'm just thinking. So finally I'm home and I'm quite sleepy. So I had uh, written a post, uh, a note last night. So I'm about to post it. What I believe about writing. No one can be a writer. And at the same time, everyone is a writer. Just writing is an honest way of expression. If you're not honest enough, if you're trying to write for the people or if you're if you're, uh, if you're trying to impress people or if you're not really writing from within yourself it will look fake and it, if you're writing to just figure out things and just to actually know what's happening inside you so many times what happens is that there's a commotion or a chaos inside you that you can't even figure out what's happening so you write it down you know why maybe you expect that key that, uh, that chaos Maybe it might make some sense to you on a piece of a paper or on a laptop or anything. That's what writing means to me. And I think if it's not real, if you don't mean it, then it's not writing. It's like just talking. And people also use some fancy words. I don't know why do they use it. I feel that they use it to impress and to show that they have knowledge of the language and they have command. It is the way I'm talking to you. You are able to understand me because the language is simple. I'm not using some fancy words. So if I'm typing down, if I'm writing something, you will only relate to it first Firstly, primarily, through the language I'm trying to communicate. And the language I'm using for my own use. It's not simple English. It's not fancy English. It's not fancy English. It's not Shakespearean language. So this is a small insight meeting. I'm down sleepy now. I'm sleepy. What's up guys? I've just woken up. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him my friend. I was supposed to be with them because we had planned to play football by 9.30 or something. So I'll be rushing now. I haven't eaten much. I've reached the turf right now. This is a place where we'll be playing.